Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rokha, Fadash, Devil Honest, the Apostle, Green Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect of the four corners of the earth. The title of this video is The Lord's Movie. And you people are soon to see that the Lord's in control. And the Lord is, is the author, director, etc. of this movie that we're in. Nothing is ordained or done without the Heavenly Father's uh, green light or red light. The Heavenly Father controls everything. So that being said, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Lord is making a statement right here. He's in control of life and death, and he sets out a judgment. No, there's nothing that can stop it unless he stops it. It has to be ordained. It has to be administered uh, uh, by him. Heavenly Father is he. So, and Yahweh meaning he exists. He is. Speaks, you know, this is how the Lord is. So, if you got a problem with it, you know, you're gonna have to take that up with the Hawaii Yahushua, and we're gonna see how that conversation goes. But, I mean, this is clear cut, straight to the point. There's no, there's no gray, uh, gray area on this matter. See now that I, even I, the Heavenly Father speaking, and He, and there's no power with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, be prepared for Jacob's trouble, because you people in the world, you two-thirds are going to really see how, how real it's going to be, because Esau's spell is going to be lifted off of you, and you're going to have to face reality, but you've been in the matrix for so long, in darkness, it's just... And you don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures because you forsook the Lord and then listen to the Lord's holy prophets on the four corners of earth and on the highways and byways when when things were when nothing was happening. It's on me. First Samuel chapter two verse six: The Lord killeth and maketh alive; He bringeth down to the to the grave and bringeth up. So with that being said, the Lord can kill you and resurrect you. The Lord did it with uh, Yahushua and it's, it's all throughout the scriptures. So the Lord said eat the whole roll. You have to you have to accept the good, the bad and the ugly of the scriptures. There's a lot of good and there's a lot of terror there's a, and, and then, you know the Bible can get dark but that's that's a history lesson. The Bible is history, you know, geography, um, secular history lines up according to Esau's books and everything. But other than that, you know, the Lord, the Lord is making the Lord repeats himself. Repetition is a father of learning. So precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. It's not that hard. It's not, but you two thirds, you guys just want to keep provoking the Lord. And all right, <clears throat> Psalm chapter sixty-eight, verse twenty: He that is our power is the power of salvation. Uh huh. And unto Yahweh the Lord belongeth the issues from death. So let's see. <clears throat> oh, Salakia. So I'm going to get that real quick. <clears throat> Psalm 68 and 20 in the NIV. Our power is a power who saves from the from the so sovereign Lord comes escape from death. 
NLT is our power is a God who saves the sovereign Lord rescues us from death so the Lord is in control of life and death <clears throat> and that's something you two thirds are gonna really have to come to terms is that there is a heavenly father he is a so-called black man he did send his son down from heaven he's a so-called black man he he uh, repented for his sins and, uh, and all of Israel's sins and he also resurrected his son and you know all the things that Esau says is fake in, in the scriptures it is real you know it's like the so called UFOs being aliens those are the angels but you know that that's a little bit advanced <clears throat> through the spirit because people can't even can't even um, fathom or accept that there is a heavenly father you know a so called black man in, in the um, in the heavens controlling everything and that we're the chosen people etc so how much more Psalm 68 and 20 he that is our he that is our power is the power of salvation you know deliverance and unto the how will the Lord belong the issues of death you know he controls life life and death it's just straight simple facts but you know two thirds are rebellious and the heathens they're just extras in the movie Isaiah chapter 43 verse 13 <clears throat> Yea, before the day was I and he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? You know, get that again in the NIV NLT, so you can understand whoever's watching. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 13, NIV. Yes, and from ancient days I am he. No one can deliver out of my hand. When I act, who can reverse it? In the NLT. From eternity to eternity, I am <clears throat> Yahweh. No one can oppose what I do. No, no one can reverse my actions because the Lord is in control. That's what people have to understand. There's no such thing as so-called free will. There's no, you know, you know, whatever these people believe in. Because there's so much, there's so much bullshit, so much confusion. Because one, we're in, we're in the land of Babylon, a.k.a. confusion. Ba Babylon meaning confusion. So, you know, people are sleepwalking. They're basically NPCs, non-playable characters, um, being controlled by the demons, of, you know, the demons. So, you know, these scriptures are straight to the point, basic, and, and, and should be easy to understand if you, you know, the Lord is dealing with you on some type of level. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10 Declaring the end from the beginning From the beginning and from ancient times The things that are not <coughs> yet done Saying my counsel shall stand And I will do all my pleasure Again another scripture The Lord saying I do these things and we're going to get it in the NIV and the NLT real quick again. Isaiah 46 and 10. In the NIV, I, I make known the end from the beginning. From ancient times, what is still to come, I say, my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. <clears throat> Only can only I can tell you what is going to happen even before it happens, because the Lord is in, <clears throat> the Lord is in control. Every everything I plan will come to pass, for I do whatever I wish. So again, you know, it's to the point that <clears throat> you know even these people like Polite, etc., Sakari. Um, IUIC and many other camps, IUCPK that are going off and doing the opposite of the scriptures and teaching the opposite of the scriptures and you know selling out to Esau and this and the fourth. The Lord's in control. They if they think that 
they're in control, they're fooling themselves. You know, they're 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 them themselves are even in darkness because the Lord is in control, and that's what people have to understand. There's no if and if ands buts about it. Someone has to con has to be in control, just like a CEO or CFO or uh, um, a business owner. He has workers. Yahweh is the the head honcho, and Yahweh Shai is the right hand man. And Lord willing, we'd be of the elect. We're gonna be on that level under Yahweh Shai, under and under King David, and being joint heirs, being of the the government uh, governing body uh, <clears throat> of the universe. But, you know, just like Proverbs 1 and uh, 7 says, you know, the beginning of knowledge is to fear the Lord. And how do you fear the Lord? By reading his His words and hearkening unto them, learning from them, and applying them in your uh, everyday life and praying without ceasing. I mean, there's many things that come with these, with these scriptures. The main thing the Lord wants is acknowledgement. That's the main thing because he's the invisible power. He should not have to come down here. Um, and do X, Y, and Z for you to listen. You see what I'm saying? That's why he has his prophets. That's why he sent out Moses. That's why he had uh, uh, King Solomon. He had King David. He had the, the di different judges uh, of Israel. Mostly, most of them were wicked, but you know, still, there was always a middleman between the Heavenly Father and Israel. The main two middlemen were. Uh, Mo uh, well, Noah, Moses, and, and Yahweh Shai. So, and right now, the middleman between Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the world is the prophets. You know, the holy prophets. Lord, well, whether that be us. So, with that being said, know that this is the Lord's movie. This is the Lord's program, and that nothing is done. And that's the faith you have to have. Like, you know, for example, your head. Let's say not not even your head. You are before. Um, <clears throat> during Jacob's trouble before a firing squad and they got guns on you and they say if you don't take the chip they're going to put you to death the Lord is in control you don't have anything to worry about you know fear is an illusion fear is a demon you have nothing to worry about because you know that the Heavenly Father is in control of the left hand side and the right hand side you know Isaiah 45 and 7 you know I create delight created darkness i the lord do all these things man roughly roughly phrasing so with that being said i want to give all praises to yahweh bahashim yahweh shah bahashim rakal kadash double honors the apostle great millstone shalom to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth ababa ball shalom